Okay, now I'm going to do the using <coughs> Dell's firmware tools in OpenSUSE 12.3. Uh, I'm going to assume that you saw my other video. I'm going to assume that you installed the uh, SMBIOS Utils Python package uh, from the last presentation. And so, therefore, um, that package will be installed and you'll be able to take the next step to find out what your vendor ID is so you can add the correct repository to your um, to your system. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to go use this horrible monitor and um, I am going to open up a shell here. <coughs> and I'm going to type get in lowercase, uppercase s, hit the tab, it's going to say get system ID, and it's going to tell me that my system ID here is for my PowerEdge T420 is 0x04F9. I'm going to need to keep track of that because um, when I go to pick the firmware that I'm going to uh, want to update during the firmware update process, which is complicated to explain, um, I will end up uh, only selecting firmware that's appropriate for the Dell PowerEdge T420. But right now what I want to do is I want to add the firmware repository. Um, I've already shown how to add a firmware repository in my last video, so what I'm going to do now is just go into the software repository area and I'm going to go ahead and show you what the URL is. Now, I named it Dell PowerEdge T420 Software. <coughs> it's at linuxdell.com forward slash hardware latest system and we get a vendor system.vn underscore zero times 1028 which is what every Dell machine has to have but what what's unique is after that you have a dot dev underscore and then the system ID that I just got 0x04f9 forward slash suzy 11 forward slash or forward slash suzy 11 underscore 64 for 64 bit. So <clears throat> the important command that I had and the important package that I needed to have installed, which probably came from the Pac-Man repository, was SMBIOS um, utils slash Python. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is after I've added the repository and accept the GPG key is go into software management and I'm going to search for every package that starts with an IE and then an underscore. And then I'm also going to search for firmware, firmware tools. <coughs> and the name Dell. But for now, the first step is to install all of the software that is going to identify what hardware I have on my machine that is actually flashable. So the basic strategy and the basic approach is, you know, I'm going to install, install Dell FTIE interface, all these IE packages. And what these packages do is they're just designed to scan um, the server for the hardware it's made to detect and report back to the system uh, whether it's there. Um, and that's it. So, um, and then at that stage, um, it's time to, um, and, and then I also want to, you also want to install firmware, firmware add-on Dell, firmware tools, and that's that's it for that. Once it inventories the firmware, and then um, once it bootstraps the firmware, and then it inventories the firmware, uh, you'll have a list of what packages, uh, what firmware to download. 
it looks like you're installing a package, but in this case, you're just downloading the firmware. And in my case, I ended up downloading after doing the inventory. I down, downloaded firmware for the iDRAC 7, the, I, the IE packages don't don't count here, and then the server BIOS and the 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 Broadcom Net Extreme package. If I could find it once again, which is right there. But that, I only found that out, so I had to go back into the package manager and pick those after I did first this following command that I'll show here that I've already run because it takes a while to do. So the first thing I ran was bootstrap firmware. God, I can't see it. There you can see it. <laughs> it's the black bar scroll by. Okay, and then it goes and it just prints print some output that you really don't know what it means. But then after you do inventory firmware, it'll tell you that, yeah, in my case, the firmware tools could can update the BIOS, the iDRAC, and the two NextStream um, cards. So that's inventory underscore form firmware. So now I have an inventory. Go back in the package manager, make sure I get the firmware for those four items. Okay. Download it. Because that's all it does. It doesn't actually install it. Then I run update firmware and it compares the firmware that I downloaded with the firmware that's installed on the machine. And it will tell me whether it's found a newer package to install. And in all cases in my situation, this did not find a newer package to install. And then, um, so I didn't do the next step, which would be update underscore firmware space double slash yes. Now, the firmware tools can't detect all of the flashable firmware still existent on my machine is um, that that can take a firmware update is the DVD 